Hey, what is up everybody? It's Jason Skills back again and I've been wanting to do this video for a little while now actually. This is a video to introduce you all to my tape label. Uh, this label, Low Noise Productions, uh, that I started in 2013-ish, late 2013. Um, so we're coming up soon on a 10 year anniversary in a couple of years. Um, the label is up to, oh man, about 80 releases now. Some, a lot of which are on cassette. I wouldn't uh, say half, a little under half are on cassette. So I'm going to run through all of them. Now we also have one vinyl as well, uh, one 12 inch, and we put out two 7 inches as well uh, that were lathe cut. So they're very extremely limited edition and quite lo-fi as well, mono uh, releases. I don't have those um, right now on me, but they're, they're somewhere in this room actually, but... Um, for now, I thought I would just show off the cassettes. So, Low Noise Productions, I kind of set it up. I had another label that was more on club music at the time and started realizing very quickly that I wanted to do something that was more on the experimental side, um, electronic, synth, and techno, and um, started the Low Noise Productions label um, with uh, a number of artists uh, many, most of which are actually international, but there are some from Canada and some from here in Ottawa. And there are some compilation tapes as well as we went along. So to get into that, we're going to start off with basically Low Noise 001. Um, I say that because I released the cassette originally on um, the other sub-label, uh, which is called Spins and Needles. And then... Uh, quickly reissued it on to low noise and that is a tape by myself uh, transmit I go by transmit and it's simply tape 001 now I'm going to try to avoid glare as much as possible um, it was uber uber limited so the first edition was only I think 10 20 copies were made um, some friends might have got a copy I might have sold one or two uh, but this one is definitely the reissue because it says um, Jason Skills, lownoiseproductions.com. And um, the first one wouldn't say, uh, didn't say low noise or LNP001. So a common feature on my cassette label is I usually put the sticker only on one side because I'm cheap. But actually it doesn't, uh, <laughs> doesn't really cost. I think it's like a few more pennies to put the sticker on the other side. Uh, I haven't really done a pad print. On low noise I have on other labels um, that could be something to come so like I said this is going back to 2013 and I was just starting to dabble into electronic music production um, this is mostly drone stuff uh, experimental and uh, I like a lot you'll see on all the almost all the low noise releases I will usually put the styles of music or subgenres on the back just because I feel like if you go into a shop and you're buying a cassette all oftentimes the shop owner or the person working the shop might not know who the artist or the label is or what kind of music's on the cassette at all so it's it's a way for somebody to quickly be able to pick it up and go oh okay it's not death metal but uh maybe it would be cool if it's death metal too so that's first one basically this is lnp001 and on cassette and on digital. Now there is a lot of digital files that kind of fill in some of the gaps and there are literally some gaps, by the way, in the catalog that are not yet filled. But I, I my goal is one day to have uh, a release for every single catalog number. I think there might be about six or seven numbers in the catalog that do not have a release still, just because I got skipped. LNP05, so this is Low Noise Productions compilation number one compilation tape one now you can see in some of the early ones uh we're kind of going for a little bit more of a minimal look a little bit minimal techno look uh sleek uh but on the back you know experimental synth noise this was released early in 2014 um we did one reissue this one has no sticker on it so sometimes i just literally take a marker and write so that you don't get forgotten but look at how much tape there is there this is a real chunky full-on tape uh, full 60 minutes, I believe. And again, working with different artists. You get some stickers, propaganda. And uh, these are some of the artists that were on this 2014 release. Some of which 
are still recording on, on low noise. Transmit, for example. Um, who else do we have? Paraphonique, who is a local synth uh, wave artist, modular synth performer. And you'll see a couple of releases from him coming up. Calvin Morgan is actually a house producer from Atlanta. Uh, Bic from the East Coast. CMD, who's done a few things with us from Montreal. And Andrew Duke, who is from the East Coast. So fairly techno lineup on Compilation 1. Um, you'll see that the label gets much more dark, dirty, and lo-fi experimental after this. This would be a cassette I would suggest to somebody who wants really clean, maybe even techno kind of sounding cassette. Uh, it's pretty much out of print at this point. We did a first run of 50 and we did a second run of 50 and I don't see a third run to come at any time. We also did a CD version, a thin CD pack version of that. Uh, next up, we have LMP 06, uh, which is a single artist release. At this point, you've had Transmit and you've had Compilation 1. And now we're going deep into space with Paraphonique. Uh, Nicolas Lavoie, very good artist of synth material. And uh, he just recorded this stuff all on his own. There's, there's some bass on here as well and other instruments, but that's the tape sticker we designed. Nothing on the back. So LMP06, a francophone artist from uh, the other side of Ottawa, from the Quebec side. Uh, this is also, this, this music's 2013. So it shows the early beginnings. Now this tape sold out. He performed locally quite a bit, and we sold a few of these tapes along the way. We might have made 50. Mo average run is 50 for low noise cassettes. So, uh, much later on, in 2013, uh, well, no, this was 2013, sorry, five years later, 2018, we did a reissue of the same cassette. So you have just a slightly different tinge color. So this is the orange one. You can more likely to find this one than this one, but you might find this on Discogs, uh, etc. And I don't know, maybe we'll end up reissuing it again. It was, uh, it's a great album. Um, oh, the other cool thing about this one is... This this album has, uh, this EP really is one, two, three, four songs. Uh, this one you get bonus tracks as well. So there are two bonus unreleased tracks from the same session, but were not available on this cassette. So that was really cool. Um, in fact, we did another, a second album with Paraphonique. I'll show you in a second. But next up is another compilation. Uh, I really love doing compilations because it involves a lot of different artists, I like coordinating that. Uh, and in fact, for a while, it was kind of interesting. I would get these artists to sort of meet online virtually, et cetera. And there was some synergy happening, I guess. 2014, we came out with Compilation 2. Now, this is the one of the few albums you're going to see here that's not black and white cover uh, for the Low Noise label. And um, so this is number seven. So Paraphonique was number six. And then number seven... Paraphonique is on this one. He kicks off the compilation. Then you have Sean Cosa from Montreal, Robert T from the East Coast, making his first appearance on the label. Two songs by him, and one with him and Paranerd. Uh, Steve, uh, Simon Hartfield is on here, also from the UK. So still fairly Canadian lineup. There's a couple of uh, international guys. Twin Peets, who's originally from Canada, from Montreal, but he lives in Berlin. He does a dub techno track on here. CMD's out of Montreal. Simon is from uh, the UK. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if you can see that. That is pretty fuzzy on this kind of video. But, nevertheless, Compilation 2, low noise. Um, this sold out uh, fairly early on, and we redid uh, a second pressing of this. So there was 50 and then another 50 copies made. Um, it's a good tape that I often send to people uh, who, again, are looking for that cleaner sound. Again, the, even the, the look of it is fairly minimalist, um, geometric style. Uh, styles on the back, synth and noise. A little bit of noise, but not, not harsh noise, that's for sure. Next cassette that we put out, we put out a CD. Sometimes I was putting out kind of like CDs, um, very limited run. I think it was actually a CDR of Paranerd. Uh, a CDR of MVR, um, 
Where's my guy in verses? Yeah, I've got him there. Okay, he's coming up. But the next release that's on cassette, I'm looking through some of the digital ones. The next one that was cassette is um, is actually Paraphonique. So another Paraphonique, uh, his second album uh, ever released. And this one's called Music de Nuit. And LNP 14. And it's a picture I took actually of the river, the Ottawa River that is, divides Ottawa and Gatineau, Quebec. And uh, we did some live jamming on that along the river there at some like late night, you know, uh, off the radar parties. And I think that's when I took the photo. It carries through onto the uh, tape sticker as well. And this is just really nice ambient, quiet music, um, but intricate and not uh, not drone really or anything, but uh, pretty interesting. Uh, this looks like it was a for sale copy for seven bucks at the time, but there's not many of these around this has not been reissued yet uh i'd like to reissue this maybe because there's so much good music on there and it's been out of print for a while so after that we get another compilation we get compilation three and i only go up to four with lnp compilations but you'll see there's other types of comps that come out later compilation number three uh we have some color mostly been black and white um and this is where i i think the label and even some of my own productions kind of we kind of start making that shift into the darker kind of sound at this point it's 2015 um and yeah there's just a, a total more darkness to the to the label fauvist period i like to call it sort of a fauvist period of politics i think for, for a while in canada as well so there's some of the artists um, some same suspects. You've got Paranerd going as Maxi Millard. Bic is back with the very minimalist sound. Anome is from uh, New Brunswick, from the East Coast. Andrew Duke, East Coast. Opus, East Coast. Twin Peets, again from Germany. Cristobal from Montreal. So really Canadian lay, uh, lineup this time. Only, uh, only one artist, Peets, from Berlin on this one. And a, a bit of a mix of genres. There's actually a drum and bass, experimental drum and bass track on here by Opus. I quite like. Um, one of my favorite Transmit songs I did was uh, is on here, Black Limousine. It's digitally made. It's not an analog um, recording, but it's, it's a pretty cool little tune. So that's LMP16. This has not been... I think we might have done one reissue of this. So 100 copies in total, but... Um, has been out of print for a while. After that, we're going into uh, another side project of mine. It's an industrial band I was in called Final Fall. We did a lot of live uh, shows. It's a four-piece. Uh, myself, uh, Nick Doyle, uh, Dot, Josh, now Dot, um, and Sterling. And just completely experimental, completely off-the-wall industrial band, noise, industrial noise band, Final Fall and um, cool logo I think that was designed by Nick actually so basically we would get together and record these jams uh, now I realize this is the wrong cassette inside the case uh, this is the Genesis sessions but this is the other Final Fall uh, I'll have to locate the tape but this is out of print at this point this is LNP 17 and you got the Great tracks on here. Five tracks. Fidelity, Jealous, Saturated Fat, Rejoice, and Reform. Recorded in 2015. So, mastered, I think, by Nick as well. And uh, this also has its own band camp as well. So, pretty cool out there. Grungy sounding industrial. Now, also heavy industrial and grunge, but a little cleaner and polished was this artist. Inversus, and I want to give a shout out to Matt uh, Inversus because this was a great release. We did an earlier EP by him just digitally on the label called MVR. I think it's MVR. Astral Dialogue, which is pretty dirty and interesting stuff. Instrumental, of course, but um, some of you keen viewers may notice a similarity in the design cassette design there similar photo um 
but yeah definitely going with like a black metal kind of look he's very he's definitely into that dark arts kind of style uh lmp 18 it's a cruncher it's a banger and all original tracks six tracks in total and um would love to have more stuff by him he's local uh ottawa but just haven't haven't seen him much over the years and uh don't know where he's at these days production wise he did do a performance once in our space in possible worlds so this is lmp 18 came out in 2016 by inversus the perfect storm we also did a cd version copy of that too some people like to buy cds more than cassettes followed it up this is like bam 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 in a row um LMP 16, 17, 18, 19 are all cassettes right in a row. Then you got a digital, then another cassette of 21. But this is another local. So obviously I'm lying here. I said it's all international, but the later releases are much more international. These are a lot of local uh, and Canadian artists. Andre and Michelle, Power Chords. Um, great duo. Uh, of course, I know Andre aka Andrew, uh, for a long time. We used to do a DJ night together, in fact, and, and DJ together. This cassette is falling apart. Um, and there's not much to see on the inside, actually, because these are just uh, single J-card style. Uh, this one is a blank cassette. Uh, no pad print, no sticker on this one, so you got to remember what tape goes to what. It's a little cutting up too. This is a very out of print uh, EP. Uh, kind of tech house, kind of club. These guys are interesting. It's sort of experimental club. Uh, Michelle occasionally breaks out a guitar in the mix. You never quite know exactly what you're going to get with these with these boys. Uh, great duo to watch. They can jam for days. You could you could uh, they could do an awesome live show. Um, and then this is just a slice. You get four, four cool tracks on here. Um, Ch Club Chub, Loose Acid, Vels. There's a little bit of Acid House in there too. Power Chords. We only did about, I think, 25 copies of this. And uh, sold mostly locally. So I only have a couple left. Now this, I was searching all over the room for my low noise tapes to pull together for this video. And... Uh, I was worried I was not going to be able to find this copy. So I think I only have like one or two copies of this thing at all. This is from 2016, uh, LMP 21. And it's a, it's a split release with another local label. Well, a label from Montreal called Genez Cosmique. And Hazy Montaigne Mystique, uh, I've been friends with for a while from Montreal. He came up basically to perform. That's a picture of him there. Chi to perform live in our shop in Possible Worlds. And from that performance, uh, it was recorded and we released it on cassette. In fact, joint cassette. This is their logo there, Jeunesse Cosmique, and Low Noise and Possible Worlds logo too. So it's a very cool cassette. It's um, a little droney, some uh, muffled vocals, um, quiet, introspective, interesting stuff he designed uh he designed the whole album cover too so a bit of a collage style love it uh it's a super long title so one thing you get when you work with hazy is he likes very long cassette titles song titles so i'm going to give it a i'm going to give it a whirl here it's in french interstellar to de Se balade à Ottawa avec mi float en écoutant James Leyland Kirby. James Leyland, Leyland Kirby? I'm having the hardest time pronouncing a name. So there it is. Hazy Montaigne. It's a split release. One of the only split releases. But I have some news, actually. We're going to be releasing some really cool stuff this year. Um, there's two cassettes actually in the hopper right now. There's an awesome compilation, uh, the Doomsday compilation for the pandemic, which was recorded, all recordings really from 2020. Finally going to come out on cassette. Uh, we've got another artist, international artist from the UK coming out soon on cassette. And uh, just uh, got an agreement with uh, an artist from Philippines. So that's going to be really cool. A noise artist from Philippines 
who is going to be on Low Noise. He's already got something on a Philippines label for a CD, but we're going to be doing the cassette version of that soon. So I'm excited about that. That's going to come out soon. Um, where are we now? Next. This video is going to be a long, epic one, but thanks for thanks for sticking with it. If you are, I hope you are. And I'll try to put a I'll put a link down below for Low Noise, the Bandcamp, and and all that, all the goodies. Low Noise Compilation 4. Here it is, the masterpiece. This is a masterpiece, I believe. This would be one of the first things I'd want to, I might consider releasing on vinyl at some point. And of course, I got a sealed copy of it here, so I can't, I don't want to break the seal. Uh, I will uh, look it up online to tell you the artists. A lot of Canadian, but some international from Sweden, Ireland, US, UK. So you have the styles and some of the countries in the back. This is LMP25, and it's a tour de force. At this point, we've been experimenting. The first couple comps, very minimal, minimal techno a little bit, a little bit of synth. And then the third one, which is sort of that Favist kind of cover, and it's getting a little dirtier and lo-fi. This one's got the full Monty, what you want to hear, basically. This is a pretty good representation of low noise, especially at that era things have gotten even noisier dirtier you might say in some in some instances since this one but killer lineup opens off with simon hartfield out of portsmouth uk i've actually visited his apartment once on a visit and saw some of his gear that he, he does his productions on and he has a number of uh, solo eps and um some on low noise and other labels and stuff so he kicks it off with a track called Denje. Then you have uh, Anome, who is an East Coast producer from Moncton, my hometown. Paranerd, also from Moncton. Uh, you have Intangerines, the first ever Intangerines track on Low Noise. He did a digital EP for us after. And of course, I uh, do a lot of performing with Intangerines. So uh, somewhat shortly after this, a couple years later, we, we formed a duo. Basically, after my final fall industrial group uh, split, I started uh, doing live performances locally as Transmit versus Intangerines. So Intangerines on here, the solo track. Stan K, that I love from um, Montreal. Great feedback loop noise guy. He runs his own label called It Stinks, which has been on a little bit of a hiatus for a while. Commodifier is a brand new artist uh, from Toronto that I don't think we even met. I'm not sure if I met him in person. I don't think I did. So he's only ever done one song on one comp. Uh, Transmit Compactor from New York City. Let's see, we have a full uh, EP from him. Ruth Grader, local, uh, he heavy industrial techno style, uh, anal all analog performer. Robert T, again, synth wizard from the East Coast. In Versus, I was talking about earlier, is on here. Uh, Decorativa Parasiter and uh, Temporal Transmission. So there's just there's loads of people on here. There's, there's some harsh noise on here. There's some hard techno. There's some meandering, interesting IDM weird stuff. Lots of cool shit. Um, it was reissued. This is I think this is the original. Or this is the second issue. The, I think the original issue was... A clear cassette and the second pressing was this green um, and there might have even been a third pressing of this so we might we might repress it again I don't know it's it sells out pretty fast so there's not many of those left Wow Whew, I feel like I need mm, uh, a drink so I'm gonna put this on pause for a second and come right back and we're back so <laughs> that was pretty seamless I'm sure on your end but not so much on mine but I got some water, as every YouTuber knows. Always have some beverage close by. <clears throat> so, I should have brought my Low Noise Productions mug. We actually made a limited run. I was actually just counting up, and it's like, uh, how many we got here? One, two, three. There's about 14 releases that came out by Low Noise uh, in 2016 alone. So, over... Uh, more than one per month in that year alone. It was a very industrious period of time, for sure. Six of which of those 14 are cassettes, and including a compilation. 
So back to two compilations in that year. Um, compilations are always a lot more work and a lot more coordination than just a single artist release, but much more rewarding too, because like I said, different artists coming together, you get to kind of curate the flow of the songs, the selection of the songs. Um, often you get what you get from the artist too, but you know, you like to see if it all fits. Get back to a solo artist. Robert T is uh, a synth legend of the East Coast at this point. He's a retired um, air traffic controller who, I guess around this time, 2016, um, took a break, discovered, rediscovered synthesizers, and um, just delved right deep into it. Uh, analog synths, made some killer recordings. Um, we had an EP earlier from him that was quite minimalist, minimal techno almost. We had him on uh, Compilation 2. And then he put together this bad boy, which I'm currently pimping on every platform I find, called Night Waves. Um, I'm pimping it a lot lately, especially because we did a 2020, um, 2021 reissue of this, or first issue actually ever on cassette. So originally this was only digital. We had put out the digital EP. Kind of the last one we did from Robert, I think, uh, for a full length. And it's, a, it's an album, really. There's uh, nine songs on here. If you're a fan of Stranger Things or the John, John Carpenter stuff, and Dark Wave or Synth Wave, uh, this album should fit totally in there. I've sent, it, sent out a few to the VC for, at this point, so... Anxious to hear what people think. You get this delicious red vinyl, red vinyl, red uh, shell cassette. And you get the red artwork on the inside. No, not that side, but this side. Uh, that's a picture of Robert T doing his thing. And uh, yeah, originally 2016, we reissued it, like I said, for the first time on cassette in 2021. This is kind of the latest thing that's out right now on cassette from the label because, uh, like I said, I'm waiting for a couple more to come out of production. Uh, I usually get them produced out of Montreal from Duplications, which is a very well-known manufacturer. I could make them myself, and there are a couple that are self-made, but there's really pain in the ass to do that. So, um, next up... I'm going to show two copies of the same album because I've got two different pressings here, but Ambivalent One is the moment we've been waiting for. This is a really cool um, compilation series that I launched in 2016, and uh, we only have two, Ambivalent One and Number Two, I think, uh, LMP30, and the original one was on a clear shell cassette, and the second one is on a, uh, on a red dusty red shell cassette full tape as you can see there's a lot of music on there 60 minutes you're going to get your bang for your buck on this and you're going to get top line people you got intangerines versus transmit really one of the only songs we ever officially released other than live recordings called the passage of time it's a track that uh, george and i worked on sort of on or virtually over uh, over the internet uh, Pierre Richardson, who's a local uh, performer, well, producer, he also ran a record label. Stan K, Simon Hartfield, Temporal Transmission, Robert T's on here. Uh, Murray C.Y. from the Contort Yourself label out of Scotland. Good industrial label. Hazy Montang is on here. Compactor from New York. Ruth Grader and uh, Einzel Einzelman. Uh, and they are an artist from the U.S. that uh, allowed me to reissue uh, this track on cassette. So it's a 2017 uh, album. It's been reissued at least once. We might end up doing a reissue. This is a, would be another one that I would put on vinyl if I could afford such things. Maybe I should do a GoFundMe campaign or something, right? Um... That wraps up 2016. Let's get in 2017. <laughs> Number 32, LMP 32. And by the way, we're up to almost 80. Those keeping track. Anome, Brutal Burial. 
So kind of discovered this artist from the Maritimes from the East Coast. He's from my old hometown of Moncton. And um, I think he was into sort of DJing a little bit and then got into gear and uh, the electron machine, of course, which a lot of people dig. And um, yeah, just put in some really kick-ass, heavy-hitting techno, almost industrial techno, I would call it. Um, pretty banging stuff. We had, I'm just looking through, I think we had an earlier EP by him digitally, but then this this is the only cassette he's ever put out on any label. But he's, um, yeah, you got about four or five EPs by him digitally on this one cassette, 2017. Con, called Brutal, Brutal Barrier, Burial. It's actually a picture of a, like a parking garage. So after that brutalness from Inome, uh, where are we here in the catalog? There was an Intangerines digital EP, Riziki digital EP, Stan K digital EP. And then in 2017, LMP 36, we have Compactor. Uh, at this point, one of our biggest artists ever to be signed for a release on Low Noise. Multicore, a uh, great guy, uh, Derek Rush out of uh, New York City. He is, I believe, born and raised in New York City. And he's he's come up here a couple times to perform in Ottawa, and I met him, I guess, that way. And this is the cassette. We only did one pressing of it, but it sold fast and furious. It's a great EP. Um, we talked a lot about doing a, a CD version of it. Haven't got around to it yet. The download code in there. He designed the whole album cover, but it, it definitely fits the low noise aesthetic, black and white. And uh, really cool tracks, just pure industrial EBM a little bit. Um, a lot of great electronic sounds and a lot of, some glitching as well too in there. Just a cool, cool, cool release, cool tour. He was on tour with uh, with this for a bit in Canada and the States back when you could do such things. I think we made 50 copies of that in total, and that is low MP36. Now, right afterwards, another international artist. We're getting into our international phase here now. I promise you. <laughs> Uh, Compactor out of New York, followed up by Damascan from Belgium. Uh, this is Damascan and Cross, which is really just another side project of his. And the album's called Asceticism. Oof. Um, more of an EP, I guess, two tracks each side. Uh, LMP 37, it's dark, dark techno. A little bit of industrial techno. He's also released stuff on Unknown Precept as well, out of Germany. And uh, yeah, Damascan, there it is. Number 37. I still have a few of these left, but they sold pretty steadily as well. And it's only had the one, one issue of it. Um, Damascan out of Belgium. Next up, we're going to Italy. Uh, Religious Order. New Democracy. This is a killer album. Uh, I want to reissue this soon, I think, because it uh, we didn't have a lot of copies. I 50 or maybe less, even. Um, it's dark. Uh, techno. It's industrial a bit. It's a bit experimental. And, uh, yeah, it's just great. There's six tracks on it in, in total. And... Uh, he said it's done some other projects under other names too. So Alessio, I think his name, and he has his own label too. So Religious Order, cool cassette. Um, I believe out of Turin, Italy. I think I don't know why, but it's not it's not Rome. Um, Anome. Then after that we have this. Uh, so this is almost a little bit dungeon synth. I would I would dare to say. Uh, same thing with this one, Ritual. So cover art designed by local guy, uh, Derek, and um, killer artist out of Morocco. So this one's called Past State. Bit of a historical romp of heavy, hard-hitting techno. Um, some of the track titles in uh, 
Arabic, I believe. 2017 release, LMP41. Uh, we haven't done a reissue of this, and uh, we we may end up doing a reissue of this because it's pretty rare. There's only a few left. I actually found a few extras in a box, so that uh, warmed my heart a little bit. And I think I sent a couple copies over to Morocco to the artist, but that's about it. Um, ret ritual. Next up, another international artist, um, Petrolio from Italy again. I think also from Turin. I could be wrong with these areas. A big country. Visited Italy finally, and I uh, was surprised how uh, large the country is or how many big cities there are. Uh, this one's called Intramonia Noises for Angela. And uh, horrible glare there, I know. It is LMP44. This came out in 2018. Um... Yeah, just seeing, just counting up. But wow, 2017 was a big year. Every year is pretty much 12 releases or more. This is pretty much out of print now. There's, I think it's sold out on our Bandcamp. I just have a couple of personal copies. Very cool, dark experimental. I think it was a recording he did live with another artist uh, named Angela Teodorowski. Teodorowski? I think a performance artist. But yeah, Petrolio is awesome. He, uh, I think he was originally in a band, metal, maybe a metal band or something, and then uh, broke out, started doing solo electronic and industrial kind of stuff. So it's the only release we have of him as a solo artist, but he is on a couple of compilations, including, I believe, this next one, Ambi Ambivalent Number Two. So we had Ambivalent One and Two, and uh, this is that cassette. This is a great album. I would I would uh, reissue on vinyl if I could. Rituals on here. Uh, Compactor, Damascan, Religious Order, White Noises, a guy from uh, UK. John Vaughn is Canadian. Young Truck, uh, Rory, who's local. Petrolio is on here. Transmit, Temporal Transmission. It's a very tight lineup. It's from 2018. And um, I don't think we've reissued it. I think we only had the one copy. No, I think we did one reissue so far. Wow, I'm just, my memory's going. But um, yeah, I'm pretty sure there was a 50 and then another 50 copies. We'll have to do another reissue too. It's uh, ambivalent. The, the series is always pretty ambient, noise, drone. Uh, not a lot of uh, going on there. Um, other than it can get pretty noisy at times. Um, next cassette, we have some color on the cover and color in the name, Color Domes. Uh, this is artwork actually from a local artist in Ottawa, Emmanuel. Uh, Emmanuel O.K. from Ottawa, but the artist is from Taiwan. I think he's an expat. I think he's originally from Canada. Uh, Color Domes, Future Certain EP. Really cool EP. I, I think... How I met him was I saw him perform live at House of Targ, local bar. And then we communicated online and put out the cassette. So the artwork's carrying through a little bit on the sticker, nothing on the back. Very cool tape. It's a bit synthwave, a bit experimental, a little uh, IDM. Nothing too harsh or too abrasive. Um, and it's LMP49. We sold out of these completely. There's only a couple copies of that left. Okay, I'm going to the second page on Discog, so that's a good sign. Uh, we only have about 10 more to go, I promise. Um, but a variety of artists, as you can see, from all over the place. A lot of Canadian, a lot of international. Next up is Canadian artist VC Vibes. And this artwork is his as well. He's a visual artist as well as an audio. And he's based West Coast, well, Saskatoon, I believe. Regina, Saskatchewan. Sorry, John. I know he's moved. Um, yeah, John Vaughn, a.k.a. VC Vibes. A Distant Call. This is a really cool uh, tape. Bit synthy, abstract house, I'd say. Uh, on purple shell. And uh, don't have many of these left either. This is kind of sold out now as well. 
Uh, he's also a print artist. We've we've shown his work at uh, Possible Worlds before. Next up is a tape that is almost unlistenable by my, most people. Ranofsky, also from Belgium. Uh, Damien de Cohen, I believe, is the, the artist's name. Uh, 2018 release. This is Harsh Wall Noise in its fullest form. Basically, you get two tracks, one on each side. I believe it's one on each side. Well, it looks like a fair amount of tape there. But yeah, this I recommend this for anybody who wants to get rid of their neighbors or piss off their neighbors. Play it loud. Uh, otherwise, play it low so that you don't scare yourself. But yeah, it's it's harsh wall noise, Ronofsky. 50 cassettes of these and um, slowly, slowly going. That's from 2018. I think we have about 10 more of those left now. It's a bit of a specialty uh if you think about it. Um, not harsh wall noise, but harsh industrial final fall decided to put out. Um, we had, we had released this digitally on our band camp, um, a year or so earlier. I think by now the band had kind of broken up, but this was our sort of our second album capitalism with a Z. Uh, I released it on low noise LNP 56. So you've got filthy prick piggies in the trough. Into Oblivion, No Frills, No Fun, Last Chance to Ecstasy. And again, the local industrial group of Ottawa that I was part of. I was on the drum kit mostly, the digital drum kit for that one. Um, so it's all improv, experimental, industrial, and noise. Really good one to pick up. And then we have a lot of digital releases. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, I've got that one there. <laughs> I'm like, am I missing something? So that's 2018, LMP56. Then we've got a series of digital EPs. Usually, rule of thumb, some of the digital stuff is usually more techno. Maybe even leaning towards club or dark techno anyway. <clears throat> so it might be a digital release. The cassettes tend to be more experimental or synth or industrial or noise. <clears throat> um... Yeah, I guess the next one in cassette is 2019 uh, Transmit. So I did kind of a bunch of stuff in 2019 on cassette. This is this is one I put out just before the pandemic. Uh, well, a little bit before the pandemic. Yeah, 2019. Uh, it's called No Progress. And uh, is it this one here? I don't have a lot of uh, these left. In fact, I think I only have a few of these left, so can't remember how many we did, maybe 50. It's on a, just a black and white split shell. <clears throat> no sticker on this one. <clears throat> it's uh, some scraping noise, some interesting analog sounds I've, I've cobbled together, and some um, sort of vocal, political vocal samples as well, just thrown in the mix. So think sort of a current tack head that's a little bit more lo-fi and shittier. <laughs> <laughs> uh, lo-fi uh, tack head maybe um, lo-fi industrial there's some beats there's some heavy beats on there i designed the cover as well so there it is no progress it's a good 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 tape i really like this one in fact i might reissue it because i feel like it's um running out of them <clears throat> uh followed up next cassette there's a couple of digital releases but the next cassette is another transmit Came back with temporal season i've sent out a few of these this is a little bit more on the drone and just ambient noise side than this i think this one might have like one ambient noise track but the rest is more beat driven and acid a bit and this one is uh the last track headbanger has a beat i think on it but this one is mostly drone and noise so that's a 2020 release and, uh, you know, I'm getting a little mixed up in the years because the catalog numbers are not always matching up because, yeah, this came out just before the pandemic. This one we released before the pandemic for sure. We sold it and sold out of it. Uh, this is the Mr. Sunshine EP. It is next in the catalog number LMP72, but it was released in 2019. So um, this is as punk as you get. Transmit. Uh, self-produced at home. I think I made only like 10 or 12 copies of this. 
And then you get a fold out. Of course, that's uh, Mike Pence inspecting the human meat. Uh, this is when uh, Pence went down to the border to see uh, how his administration was putting children in ca cages. So he's inspecting the cages and uh, the human beings in the cages for the border. So Mr. Sunshine, he's not from the Sunshine State, but the border, I believe this was a visit to Florida for some reason. I don't know why, but anyway. There's some kind of theme there. So um, it's one of the more intricate fold-over cassette, cassettes that we put out. There's Border Patrol on a fence, Squad Strikes Back, Snake Oil. Limited, very limited edition. A few people have copies of that, and that's about it. I only have a couple left myself. It's industrial with some uh, vocal samples. And last but not least, we got three, three left to go. I'll go through them quickly. Uh, Yasuyuki uh, Yusugi. I think I said that. Yasuyuki Yusugi. Modern Age. This is another one that we self-produce. Uh, well, not the, not the cassette is, is uh, professionally manufactured but and recorded onto it. But we did the album covers. Most of them are black and white, but this is one that has some extra colors on there. But uh, it's an artwork from uh, my wife from Melanie uh, from Possible Worlds. And the artist is from Japan, Yasugi. Uh, kind of a twisted fellow who does a lot of <clears throat> noise releases. This is uh, pretty pure noise and drone. Oh, well, some intricate sounds in there as well. And he has just a lot of releases on Discogs from different labels, etc. So this is one that we have, our first ever Japanese artist. <clears throat> And uh, followed by our first ever artist from Iran, Golbon. So Golbon Moltaji, um, who actually lived in Canada. She is probably Canadian and Iranian, uh, but is now back in Tehran and put out this cassette, uh, Eker, E-K-U-R. So this is her first ever EP, actually, um, officially. And she has some great EPs online now that are a bit more on the club techno, dark techno side. This is a bit of techno, lo-fi, kind of a little bit grungy, I would say, uh, or experimental, industrial. Throw all those adjectives in there. They're all in the back anyway. So you see these are hand numbered. There's only 40 copies. And uh, that was one of the latest releases on Low Noise, uh, this Gold Bond cassette. Artist from Iran. And last but not least, Mr. Clarinet. I have sent a few of these out as well. Uh, this one, along with the Robert T that was reissued, <clears throat> are the last two cassettes that are produced, but we have a couple in the hopper. Mr. Clarinet, awesome artist from Thessaloniki, Greece, and very uh, experimental industrial interesting stuff quirky a bit just quirky song titles even uh, we i think he designed the the uh, album cover art and it carries through on the sticker as well so yeah he's called mr clarinet there's no clarinet on this cassette and it won't uh, sound like clarinet uh really ever on there but it's pretty interesting there's beats like i said and intricate noises etc so that's LMP79, and um, we do have a cassette to come out soon by a uh, Polish artist, uh, Peter Sisak, um, LMP81. Of course, there's the Doomsday compilation, which is LMP78 that, has, that we're waiting for a production of. And there's another artist um, from the UK as well. So that wraps up my label. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, it's quite a journey of obscure artists that maybe you've never, ever, ever, ever heard of before, but you should definitely check out. I'll put a link to them down below uh, to the label of the band.